Veda! What is this fantastically new place that's quiet? Welcome to Veda Week. I know you have a lot of videos to watch for Veda, so I'm going to try to keep my videos at under three minutes. With short one takes if possible, but under three. I hope you join me along for this mindful journey on some of the things that I do daily. We'll see. Spoilers for The Walking Dead. If you don't want to hear them, you might want to click away right now. Three minutes starting now. So this past weekend, I watched The Walking Dead season finale. And what I love about that show is how they tend to show the character development happen, the story arcs of each character along the way. And the big focus of mine has been between Rick and Morgan because of reading about mindfulness and presence. Something really, really interesting happened to Morgan between the time that Rick last saw him in his manic state. Spoilers. Yeah, Rick seems to respond differently to circumstances and challenge in ways that Morgan used to. But I think Morgan is further along. There's a point at which he rescues uh, Aaron and Daryl. And what's really, really fascinating about that rescue is when Morgan says all life is precious. They were so confused as to why he rescued them. And to see all life is precious, to even see the dead as precious, to even remain so calm and composed when that wolf guy came up to him with, I think it was a pistol that didn't have any rounds in it. To remain so composed like that in front of danger Something really interesting happened to Morgan, and I wonder if he's going to be able to change Rick's perspective when they finally have some sort of conversation. I want to see how Morgan approaches that, because he is a very different person from Rick. Rick, he does what's right, and he's willing to take the action on it, but I think that comes out of an ego mode of him, of being more powerful and wanting to survive and wanting to be better, and, and not that he doesn't want to strive. But there's something about Morgan that is really mindful and really present, and the fact that he thinks all life is precious, even the zombies, even he takes out he takes out the zombie, but he leaves the two guys alive in the car, almost as if he wants to give them their chance at enlightenment at some sort of higher purpose or some sort of ability to become more present and to understand things as they are and accept it instead of resisting it and feeling separate from the rest of humanity. We are the wolves, right? We're separated, excluding. The ego loves to exclude things and to separate and categorize. And Morgan's like, hey, I'll give you another chance at living. Let me lock you in, put you in this car and beep the horn. And if the walkers get you, they get you. He sort of made the same situation that Aaron and Daryl in, but he put them in the car and he got the other people out of the car. So there are a lot of interesting parallels. Just paying attention to those story arcs for characters is what's really kept me in The Walking Dead. And shout out to Myra Grant's Newsflesh zombie trilogy series which as well is an amazing, amazing three book series. You should definitely check that out. But yeah, that's all really. I've got 13 seconds left. Great show, The Walking Dead season finale. What'd you think? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, keep being your awesome self. Don't forget to be awesome. And I will see you tomorrow for Veda number two. Er, Buddy Palka.